Hello, Jeff Brandy again from our public safety team and part of our disaster response program. And I wanted to spend a few minutes today talking to you about best practices from the GIS disaster response community. Now, in our experience in supporting you know, users for many disasters and crises over the past couple of decades, we've really seen three common patterns of use of all. One, you know, maintaining situation awareness, two, conducting damage assessment, and three, help, helping to manage information sharing. And you know, these are really common things that we see time and time again from across the, the user community. And there's many great examples of this work. And here's just a few you know, on the screen, a couple of screenshots from kind of across the community. On the upper left, just a few weeks ago, the president actually tweeted out the photo, this photo from Ca a visit to Cal OES and, you know, showing all these dashboards of information on the current, you know, wildfire situation there uh, in California. Um, many great examples from across the community, you know, uh, Texas and Oklahoma, you know, sharing, uh, getting information from the public actually on, on damage information or sharing information out on hub sites, you know, Oregon providing great um, situation awareness information and damage assessment you know, products from the recent fires that they face. And again, that there's, you know, really many, many examples kind of from across the community in really these three areas of use. Now, a couple specific that we wanted to highlight First here from an information sharing from FEMA and their Geospatial Resource Center, they've got a great hub site to share and coordinate information for disasters of all types. So this is a recent example from the Hurricane Ida response from a couple of weeks ago, having a high level app at the, at the top of the webpage showing current overall status as well as you know, providing links to various you know, um, state and partner applications and a variety of data sets, including you know, models, post event imagery, you know, ways and gas buddy data that others can leverage and use. And actually using this as a coordination you know, destination you know, during you know, disaster, sharing information on, in this case on the graphic on the right, showing their um, planned and completed collection plans for post event imagery. Another example that we wanted to share comes from Louisiana. Unfortunately, Louisiana's had many hurricanes over the past couple of seasons and has become quite well versed in leveraging you know, GIS to support um, the response. And their virtual Louisiana hub site is a great destination that has a variety of you know, applications to support you know, sharing information, you know, things like from a situation awareness perspective, like you know, current declarations on the top right, evacuation orders on the bottom right. They also have you know, specific applications to have the public report in on where they're experiencing damage and a, a great you know, wealth of information that they're sharing from a response and recovery perspective and a, and a really kind of a great example from the community. Next, we wanted to talk about the Hurricane Ida response in New Jersey, actually. So the storm obviously hit the Gulf Coast, but, you know, impacted the Northeast as well. And so um, very quickly, they stood up a capability to have the public report in damage specifically for Hurricane Ida. And in just a couple of days, they had thousands of reports from the public on where they had experienced, you know, damage. And this, this public reporting was a contributing factor to help justify their disaster declaration and help freeing some of the um, federal funding that needed from a recovery perspective. So a great you know, example, again, uh, recently from the community that we thought worth, worth sharing. Um, one of my favorite examples here from a public information perspective is from the city of Reading. So this is from the car fire for a couple of weeks ago, really represents a typical public information, information sharing pattern that we see, sharing information with the public on where the fire is, where the evacuation zones are, where resources are for the public, like shelters and large animal evacuation shelters. And as the story goes, one day when the GIS analyst there at the city of Reading was driving to work, he saw this you know, picture or saw the scene in the community and he took a picture. And it's very typical that we see things like, you know, you know thank you first responders, thank you firefighters, but check this out. Thank you fire map updaters. You know, to me, what better validation um, from the public that the, the work that you're doing matters and is really important and compelling in, in providing a critical source uh, of information. So I thought that was a great story and inspirational example to share, and they continue to do great work in the, in the city of Reading. 
You know, even, you know, just a couple of weeks ago, San Bern in uh, Santa Barbara, same type of pattern of use of sharing this information of uh, these types of apps on the, on the fires that they were, you know, experiencing here. So in closing, you know, those are just a couple of examples, but there's many more kind of across the GIS disaster response community. There's a couple of key apps that uh, are available to you to the, I recommend to kind of check out to, to get greater visibility into this. You know, both including you know the FEMA hub site that we mentioned, as well as our own Esri Disaster Response Program, you know hub site, and we'd really invite the ocean weather and climate community to participate. You know, help contribute your data, apps, and expertise to support these you know critical activities from a disaster response perspective. So, thank you for you know, letting me share just a few minutes with you today on some of the best practices uh, across the community, and look forward to working with you. Thank you.